He is an icon of the state's snowmobile racing community, a seven-time champion of this truly Alaskan race. This is Inside the Iron Dog with Scott Davis, presented by ski Snowmobiles. What matters is what's next. Yeah, I'm Scott Davis. I've lived in Alaska for 54 years and riding snowmobiles for almost 50 of those years. So I was about five or six years old and we were had borrowed um, one of my dad's friend's old 14-horse ski and uh, we were riding it around and I drove it into a pole and uh, we had to buy it so because I had damaged it. So that was my first uh, introduction to snowmobiles. You know, I first heard about Iron Dog probably the early 1980s, um, I kept, there was rumors about starting um, a race and racing from the Nana to Nome like they did back in the 70s. Yeah, I mean, we were second the first year and, and won um, second, the, the first full race, full length race we won. Um, and over the next 32 years, I raced 30 races, uh, 21 top threes, seven wins. Well, the Iron Dogs is a 2,000 mile cross country snowmobile race that, you know, it would be like riding from, I don't know, Salt Lake City to New York City. Yeah, I think uh, the race has always been, parts of it have, been, have always been scary, you know, like some years the um, tides and the wind will crack, crack the sea ice and, and take it out 10 feet and, you know, it's 8 feet from where you are to the water and if you fall in there you're done and I mean there's stories of guys crossing you know getting out in uh, uh, Norton Sound and in uh, around in areas and getting wet and having to swim and walk to the next village um, there's some rolling hills there and I just you know I just geed out in the bottom of that one of those and and uh, flipped the sled up on its side, and, and, and I, I don't know what I did at that time, but I, I got, you know, knocked the wind out of me, and, you know, I, I, I think I broke a rib and tore my spleen. Even there, and then on the way back, I took another pretty good digger um, out on the Norton Sound at, at about 80, and I, I don't remember any of that. Uh, um, and that one really hurt. That one um, definitely broke some ribs underneath my uh, scapula, and, and uh, they were kind of sticking out um, the sharp edges of the brake. And my left lung was collapsing from fluid. And, you know, we ended up in second place by, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. But, you know, that probably last year would probably have to be my number one toughest race. My kids weren't, weren't born when I started doing this, and, and John Fayo's kids weren't born when we started doing this. So, um, you know, I mean, we've watched uh, Cody Barber, Corey Davis, you know, I mean, um, Brad George, all them young kids, you know, running around chasing their dads, uh, you know, at the starting line, and now they're, you know, um, you know, competing for wins. W once you win, and I tell you that, that feeling, that, that elation that you get crossing the finish line <coughs> is um, pretty addictive, you know. And um, it kept me racing a really long time. Isn't the only reason that I race, but you know, we race to win. It's, we're racers, that's what we do. We, we, we wanna win every time. Stay up to date on the 2016 Iron Dog with the team of Channel 2 News and KTUU.com. Inside the Iron Dog, brought to you by Skidoo Snowmobiles. What matters is what's next.